and in that day shall ye say, Praise the Lord. What a joy it is having you come into our space here where we can minister the Word of God to you. And we're coming to you today with a message that has been preached somewhere around the world. Something like Santiago. Don't know where he is. I just pray that you'll be blessed, inspired, healed, delivered, set free, fear gone, faith arise, and that you will receive today from this preached word just what you need. Thank you so much for being here. It says, for purpose, God, so, so, he didn't just love, but he so loved. And he loved us so that he gave his only, 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 and then begotten. You and I are begotten of God through Jesus. He was begotten of God, period. That God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Let, let, let me deal with that. First of all, I'm going to give you seven, seven aspects of love from that verse before I close. But I, I like the word only. He gave his only, only. Now, what does that mean? Why, why did we put the word only in there? Because, because I, I was thinking about our lives, my wife and I, that during the course of our ministry and whatnot, we have given cars away. We have helped people to be in their homes and, and whatnot through our, through our lives. I remember my wife was just reading the paper one day. She saw somebody that was hurting in need and made me go out and buy a car and give the lady. I ain't seen the lady since her. And I mean, I'm living, you know, and it, 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 and she just was overwhelmed with, let's do something for this lady. You know, she wouldn't come to church and say thank you. Just took it, got her in that little Pontiac or whatever it was, and went on her merry way. And I, I, I felt that we were doing and, and showing the love of God. I felt pretty good about that. But when I thought about God so loved the world that he, only, he gave us only, only. You see, I've never, out of the cars that we've got given and helped and whatnot, I've never given a car away that I didn't have one left. I've never helped anybody to get in a home at the cost of me not having one. Are you hearing me? So even though I thought I was like God, I found that I came short because I had something to ride in after I gave away. I had something to live in after I gave away. God surrendered his son and didn't have another one. It was one that he had formed a relationship with. It was his begotten. It came from his loins. It came from his DNA. It came from himself. It came from his person. He was in love with this child. I mean, this was his son. And he says, I, I, I love you so that I'm willing to give my son away. Not easily. Not like that. The pain that he went through, I felt it. Every nail, every pressing of the crown, every piercing of the thorn, I felt it. Heaven felt it. Begotten, that means it was a part of him. And he could not surrender. I mean, you parents, we know, we know what it is when children go through. I look at my wife, she goes through. I, I want to do something. I want to do something. I can't do anything. I can't reach her pain. 
Can't reach it. I don't reach it. All he wanted to do was the pain of his son. But he couldn't because he couldn't accomplish in the world what he wanted to without releasing his only child. Let me close. Before I cry, cry all over this pad here. Mm. There, there are seven things I want to leave you about the love of God. For God so loved the world that love is, first of all, unconditional. If you're putting conditions on love, if you do this, I'll do that. And if you do that, I'm going to do that. But if you don't do this, child, I'm not going to. I ain't there. Love is unconditional. He so loved the world. The world did nothing for him. The world promised him nothing. He so loved the world. It's unconditional. Secondly, the love, love is sacrificial. He gave. He gave. Gave. He didn't loan. He gave. His only. It's invaluable. His son. His only begotten son. Love is personal. That whoever believes in him. Whoever believes in him. We're going to have to widen our expectation of who belongs to the church and who we want to come to the church. Remember, the church is not a club. You don't get the chance to select who sits by you. When you came, nobody took a survey. It's a whosoever kind of deal. In other words, love is universal. Whoever, whether they're gay, whether they're transvestite, investite, the vest is too tight, whatever, whatever, whatever it is. Whatever it is, Who, whoever, 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 as you see the condition for a person being accepted in the body of Christ is all he's got to do is believe. He can be whatever. He can have tattoos going up down his belly, his butt, his spine, his ear, his eye. He can have it on his head. He can be a tattoo mess like many are. I was in the gym yesterday and oh God. There was this wide load in there. Totally covered with tattoos. Why do you want to call attention to all of that? I said to my partner I was playing with, I won't tell you who I was playing with. I said, you see that? That is a mess. You see, but I don't get to choose. I don't get to set standards for who comes and who doesn't come because they're not coming to me. They're gay. 
two men, two women. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Do you have anything to say, Bishop? Yeah. You need to do something about that laugh. You really do. That, 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 whosoever, whoever it is, whoever it is who believes in Christ, remember, you don't like them, so you didn't draw them. Love draws that whoever believes in him, which means that we have to open the door to folk we don't even think are saved but can be. In the era that you got saved, they probably didn't think there was room for you either. What y'all doing now? You couldn't do 20 years ago. In the, uh, uh, go in and call yourself in the church. You come in the door, they bring you right to the door. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Come on, say, baby. Come on, baby. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I told the folk in San Fran last night, I say, y'all never could do this with Bishop Mack. We're pants up in here. And your hair all different colors. A hit dog always hollers. A hit dog always. Hit dog. Hit dog. Hit dog. Even those who have been newly ordained holler at times. Amen. When the truth comes. Oh, you see? So we're living in an era that a whole lot of stuff is going on in church now. That some of these people who've been in church 20 years are still looking at you with an eye raised. But it's not about you. You get in the same way they do. And that's by believing. Whoever, don't forget it. It's a whoever. Look at somebody and tell them whoever. Because love is inclusive. Should not perish. Should not perish. Love is non judgmental. You're not going to be assigned at the gate of heaven. To let in who you think is saved. Because if the truth is revealed, you might be run away from the gate too. You see? So let's stop at believing. Let's stop at believing in Jesus and stop worrying about the stupid stuff. You see? Let's stop making up rules. There's enough rules in the Bible for you to live by. This is tight enough without you adding to it. That whoever believes, love is universal. Love is non judgmental, should not perish, but have everlasting. Life because love is eternal. <laughs> love is eternal. What's love got to do with it? Ask somebody, what's love got to do with it? What's love got to do with it? Ask somebody, what's love got to do with it? <laughs> the answer is everything. <laughs> what's love got to do with your married life? Everything. What's the love got to do with your home life? Everything. What's the love got to do with your spiritual relationships? Everything. What's love got to do with those who rule over you? Everything. What's love got to do with those you submitted to? 
Everything. What's love got to do with it? On your job. Everything. What's love got to do with your adverse circumstances? Everything. What's love got to do with everything? Thank you so much for tuning in to us. And I pray that you have been blessed and inspired, delivered, set free, and healed. If you have been, why don't you sit down and send your gift to us, $22. That's what I'm asking you to give. That will denote what God is going to do in your life for the rest of this year. Be blessed. Hopefully we'll see you on tomorrow.